Hello, hello, Mordimers here and welcome to Grand Final of Nations Cup 2020 online tournament organized by FIDE on the chess.com uh, platform. And uh, here we go with the uh, uh, final standings after the, uh, the, the group phase where China won this, uh, this group and uh, USA was the second. So uh, these two teams, uh, you know, are qualified for the for the grand final and we had crazy 24 games every day to observe however in the final we had only four games and these games decide who gonna be the champion so uh, it was a draw I can tell you it was a draw in the match but China because of the group phase uh, got the first place and uh, became the winners and I would like to show you one of the games decisive game and very brilliant game uh, played by Yu Yang Yi and we know already Yu Yang Yi, we have a couple of games uh, on this channel from Tata Steel 2020 tournament and he didn't do very well, uh, you know, in, in Vegan Z. He, he lost a couple of games, so definitely not his tournament. But in this tournament, he played really, really wonderful chess. He won a lot of spectacular games. And this is, you know, uh, also a very, very nice game. Uh, Yu Yang Yi, uh, his rapid ranking 2738. He's 25 years old and he's going to play as white and Wesley so Filipino grandmaster who played for USA he was transferred in 2014 his rapid ranking 2741 he's 26 years old and he's gonna play as black and Wesley so is extremely strong player and he is the world champion in a chess 960 Fisher random chess so that's also some impressive achievement. Uh, so without further ado, let's jump into the game. Yu Yang Yi opens with d4. We have knight on f6, we have c4, e6, knight on c3 and bishop b4. So Nimzo Indian defense. And now what white could play, because these are the most popular system here and very, very well known. e3 is a very popular queen on c2 is also very popular. However, we have knight on f3 by Yu, Yu Yang Yi. Uh, and here Wesley so decided to uh, switch, to transpose to the queen's gambit declined and play d5. So we have Ragos in defense with the bishop on b4. Uh, and also here Yu Yang Yi can go for the most playable systems here. Uh, bishop on g5, c takes on d5. These are the most popular. Also queen on a for with check this is also possible uh, and also e3 however he goes for queen on b3 putting more pressure on d5 and also attacking this bishop so black has to do something about that so so decide to play c5 the most active move in the position defending the bishop and now d takes on c5 so bishop is still under attack we have knight on a6 knight on c6 is more popular here uh, and now we have a c takes on d5 and in this position it was already reached and yu yang Yi played uh, in 2019 against Hare krishna uh, and at that time Hare Krishna went for queen on a5 is the is the main motive in this uh, variation uh, however here Wesley so takes on d5 so now this knight is pinned and attack also uh, by the knight and here we have a c6 as the knight is defended twice so uh, don't need too much attention yet and it's always good occasion you know to mess up the pawn structure of black if you have the possibility so uh, queen on a5 was played by wesley so and now the knight is attacked three times uh, and, and white don't have times for some tricks like c takes on b7 uh, because after bishop on b7 bishop d2 rook can join to the attack so we would have a huge pressure uh, on the on the knight four pieces attacking uh, and also the king is still in the center it's not so easy you know to castle it needs at least one two three moves so a uh, very dangerous situation this is why uh, in this position wesley so prefers uh, bishop on d2 and okay we have b takes on c6 so uh, the the pawn structure is messed a bit uh, and here g3 as planned 
knight on c3 and now white can decide want to exchange more pieces or maybe mess up own post pawn structure as well so uh, it, it was possible of course to take by the bishop uh, but Yu Yang Yi want to you know uh, play for the win and he play b takes on c3 uh, bishop has to retreat so we have bishop on e7 and now bishop on g2 we have castle we have castle and after we know what happened in the game uh, we can think like okay maybe black should play something like knight on c5 uh, queen on c2 and they continue the game this way you know develop somehow this bishop uh, if this knight is harassed he always can go to the f6 square and it's gonna be very very safe but i don't think you know wesley so want to play very very safe uh, he instead play e5 very active move and it's actually very good move uh, controlling the center grabbing more space also making very important uh, space for the bishop to develop however Yu Yang Yi definitely was in his uh, you know home preparation he knows this game he played already against Hare Krishna Pentala and he played queen on c2 and now bishop on f5 is not possible so what to play as black now it's very difficult decision and Wesley so thought for a while quite long while and he decided for to retreat by queen on c7 he thought probably f5 is too risky uh, and other moves are not really so strong so first he retreat with the queen on c7 we have queen on e4 so the pawn is attacked twice now uh, so black has to do something we have f6 uh, slightly weakening the the pawn structure which uh, is not really great here but it's not so easy to exploit that yet uh, we have queen on c4 with check and now king on h8 and here a very strong positional moves start uh, to you know appear on the board first we have bishop on e3 very strong move controlling c5 so uh, look at this knight the knight has nowhere to go everything is controlled so uh, wesley so first want to do something about this knight so he play knight on b8 and knight can be developed this way but also there is a threat the threat is you know attack the the queen and make a skewer and then win the pawn so uh, that's a threat and yu yang he said okay i like your threat so he play rook f on d1 and uh, wesley so uh, went for this for this threat so he want to execute and win the pawn and now we have queen on e6 another great move now the knight can't go to d7 pretty impressive stuff here uh, we have bishop on e2 so uh, wesley so grabbed the the pawn and rook on d2 so now double the rooks with the tempo bishop on h6 and here another move and look at this move knight on h4 and it doesn't look like you know um, any strong move however the real threat here is not jumping to f5 the real threat is queen on h3 followed by knight on g6 and this is gonna be very unpleasant and messy so bishop on c8 was played by wesley so uh, and the queen can't go to h3 anymore so retreat to queen on c4 and now f5 uh, attacking the knight uh, Yu Yang Yi don't want to uh, exchange that knight he play knight on f6 and here Wesley so had the last chance probably very critical moment of the game to to develop the knight knight on d7 it could be made with queen on e6 very unpleasant move with attack on the on the bishop and if bishops move for example to a3 from this diagonal um, then we would have the the knight on g5 and it would be very very unpleasant together with the queen next to the king not really great you know to continue the game even some smothering mates are are here on the table so um, definitely not pleasant position so bishop on f6 would have to be played giving back the the pawn uh, and after queen on f5 knight b6 uh, queen h5 as the queen is under attack so queen h5 and now knight c4 with the attack on the rook and on this bishop uh, maybe this way was the last chance for black to continue however here we have h6 h6 with the idea of uh, taking away the square g5 from the knight and what in this position did yu yang yi 
Rook A on D1, double the rooks. And now look at this position. This is Grandmaster level. So uh, one of the players developed all the pieces, double the rooks on the open file. Queen is the, you know, in very, very active position. The king is totally safe. All the principles, you know, a uh, very beautiful game. And Wesley so uh, didn't develop the three pieces yet. How is that even possible? How is that possible? Especially this bishop, it's unbelievable, but make, you know, four moves. These are four moves. The knight also make two moves. So these were six moves and uh, the pieces are still undeveloped. And now what to play as black? Very difficult to find any plan. Knight on d7, not really great. Queen on e6 and even now knight on b6 losing the central pawn and uh, with all developed pieces, very comfortable, very easy game uh, to play by white. Especially black can't just, you know, exchange because this knight could start to, you know, thread everything here. Uh, would be really, really bad. So uh, Wesley so try something else. He play king on h7, moving the king from the h rank as he want to move the rook as well. So he prepared that. We have h4 and now, believe me or not, but the move recommended by the engine is rook on f6. And this move was played by Wesley so. Uh, I don't see the continuation for the plan, but, uh, you know, I'm not the grandmaster and I'm not the stockfish. However, once the move is done, a stock, stockfish apologize and say, sorry, I'm wrong. This is actually losing move. And uh, what just happened? So feel free to pause the video and find the fantastic attack uh, which can be executed in this position while I enjoy my cup of tea. Okay, ready? Knight on g5, bang! This is the move and this is crashing. And uh, engine didn't see that before. So uh, it's it's very suspicious for me, you know, because just a couple of days ago I had the game where engine didn't see uh, one move ahead, what is gonna happen, and then he recommend the, the, the best move. And uh, it's, it's, it's very, very suspicious. I don't know, maybe somebody changed something in Stockfish in the cloud analysis. I, I have no idea what's going on here, but uh, this was the move recommended, you know, by the Stockfish with the, with the Rook on F6. Knight on G5 uh, was played by Yu Yang Yi. And now, what is going on on the board here? Uh, the knight has to be taken. If the king, for example, go to h8, uh, the problem is the eight rank weakness. So uh, bishop on c5 deflecting the bishop first, uh, rook f8 trying to, you know, uh, do something on the eight rank, but it doesn't work. Bishop d6 now. And after exchanging the bishops, the knight has to be taken. If it's not taken again, the problem is rook d8 actually works very well because of this knight controls um, f7 and can attack on d8 with check. So, for example, rook on d8, rook d8, and now it's all forced, knight on f7 and winning the queen and the game. So... Uh, the knight actually has to be taken. So we had in the game h takes on g5, h takes on g5, and now again, engine here recommends rook on e6. And he shows, okay, this is the best move, rook on e6, play rook on e6, you're gonna be safe. It's actually the position is equal. And once we move rook on e6, then sorry, I didn't say that, sorry, I didn't say that. And then what would happen after rook on e6? g4 uh, and now the pawn is under attack and then the queen can have open a rank to to go to h4 so uh, f4 would have to be played but then bishop d5 bishop d5 and of course the bishop can't be taken because the the queen is hanging so uh, f takes on e3 now bishop on e6 bishop e6 queen e6 and the problem is that this rook can't be taken because if rook is taken, then we're gonna have g6 and it's checkmate. King h6, queen f5, 
Bishop g5, King g2, Rook h1 follows, and that's gonna be a checkmate. So, uh, as you see, Rook e6 doesn't work, even it's recommended by the engine. Uh, Wesley so uh, decide for something else, he, he play Rook on g6. Uh, but it's very, very similar endings, and we have Bishop on d5, the same. Now, Bishop can't be taken, we have f4, so blocking any moves like uh, Queen on h4 but the position is so rich in ideas that Yu Yang Yi just takes another one and play bishop on e4 pinning this rook and now rooks cannot move king cannot move so uh, because the the rook would be lost so what to do uh, actually queen on f7 is coming and the rook gonna be b1 so f takes on e3 doesn't work because queen on f7 and that's winning the game that's actually checkmate in five moves so uh, he found the resource bishop on g5 okay and after queen on d6 he block the way of the rook and he play bishop on f6 very nice resource, but Yu Yang Yi uh, says, okay, I have another idea, it's a lot of ideas here, so king on g2, and now your rook is pinned, my queen watching at g8, uh, and now rook on h1 is coming, what you gonna do here, what you gonna do? So Wesley saw answer with f3, but theoretically even the worst move, bishop on f3, uh, it's still losing, this rook gonna be free for the moment, but it's uh, not really mobile and uh, black would have to you know sacrifice the the queen and uh, and then continue the game it's totally lost game uh, however king on f3 is the most precise and even if bishop on g4 very nice skewer but it's not enough king g2 bishop on d1 rook on d1 and in this position wesley so resigned the game and he resigned because rook h1 is coming and it can't be stopped as the rook uh, is still pinned and the queen watching at g8 so uh, congratulations to china uh, hikaru nakamura draw his game with ding liren uh, fabiano caruana managed to win but that's uh, that's all uh, also irina crash and uh, draw the game so uh, that was not enough and uh, china won the title of the winners of nations cup 2020 so if you like this video press like if for some reason you don't like this video press unlike and if you don't want to miss any more content press subscribe smash the bell button thanks for watching and see you in the next one